Hi everyone, RV Debs here. It is Tuesday about 5, 5.30 p.m. and uh, I went to the store today because there's a few things I needed. Um, I needed an extension cord. I needed a few things. A light bulb. And I went to Publix and got one of their fantastic subs. The bread, I tell you, that's the big difference is the, the bread is so good. Anyway, I had um, a half of a sub. They're big. And I got another half for like whenever. It's so delicious. I'm going to show you a picture of it in the in this video at the end. So I went, um, yeah, so I went out shopping and then I also took a drive. But uh, yes, yeah, so I sat at the bay today and I do enjoy the bay. And I, there's something, well, I think the thing I like about it is that it's very comfortable and clean. There's no sand or nothing, you know. It's just beautiful uh, weather and place to sit and look at the gorgeous water. I do like to go to the beach and uh, right now it's sunset. I probably should have walked there, but instead I had dinner and fed the dogs. Time goes by so quickly, doesn't it? But anyway, I am enjoying myself. How could I not? Um, I'm a homebody, you know, no matter what, I'm still here a lot, but that's, it's such a nice, um, a, a nice scenery around here. You can't, you can't be in a bad mood. You really can't. I don't, I know I couldn't. And I'm just really grateful, really grateful every day. I'm very, very thankful for this because it's an amazing, amazing time here for me. Um, I, I, I still, I still feel very close to Texas too. You know, when I first got here, it's such culture shock, you know, the difference. But I love, I do love my family and friends in Knox City. You know, I just, you all know it. You know, I, there's not a lot for me. And whether or not I will move to Florida or not, I, it's, it's all, you know, right now it's just a thought. The reality is I have an RV and I live in it on uh, Kathy and Mark's property. And um, that's it, you know, so... Uh, Unless something happens and I can afford somewhere, you know, I'll let you guys know. If I'm going to go look at a place, I'll check it out. Because up north, come here, baby. Oh, yes. Up north um, towards Clearwater, and if you, the further north you go, the least expensive it is. It's just not as built up. And, um, of course, these areas are really classy, cool places, but... Up north, Holiday, Newport Ritchie, Hudson, those little areas there are going to be much more reasonable. So, you know, that's that's the thing. And um, it wouldn't be terrible. You know, some, it's still a nice area, and they usually have bays and lakes and stuff, ponds. I don't mind having just a pond as long as it's a little bit of water, you know. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm not really looking that actively, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about it because it'd be nice to spend like half the year here and half the year in Texas if I could arrange that. And the, the drive was tough, so it's like, I don't know. But um, that's a possibility. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see. You know, all things will have in its own time. Things will work out. Well, we got a little mountain lion back there. there. Rosie's right there. Yep. And Lily is, well, she's there. <laughs> Let me fix this. Everything's, you know, it takes time to get like unpacked when you've packed for two months. I've really packed way too much. I probably have, I probably could have taken like less than half of what I took and been fine. And being on the beach, you know, it's just so nice and natural and people are relaxed and everybody's in a good mood. And even the people at Publix down here on the beach is just like, so, it's really cool. So that's what's going on here. I hope you're all doing well. And I know there's lots of snow coming up there in the East Coast. And so um, I hope that you're cuddled in a nice cozy place and warm enough and comfortable because... Snow can be beautiful. I mean, I've enjoyed the times that I've been in snow in Texas. It's because it's, we get four, four seasons. 
We don't get a lot of snow, but once in a while, you know, everybody's all excited when the snow comes. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I wanted to say that I took a ride today, uh, the other side. Instead of turning right towards Holmes Beach, I took a left towards Sarasota, Longboat Key, which is a beautiful area. And there's two public beaches that I'm going to, I parked at one of them and took a few pictures. Gorgeous trees in the ocean, you know, or the Gulf is right there. Um, I'm going to, I didn't have my camera too much because like I, it was charging, but I did take a few snapshots and I will be going over there again and go to the beach there because it looks really nice. So I, I'm going to be checking the place out. Uh, there, there's some, just some gorgeous beaches here. It's, whew, it's pretty nice. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about Coquina Beach and the other one was called, um, Cortez Beach, and I know there's a dog beach around there somewhere, so Lily and Rosie have never gone to the beach. They've never really been in a pool or anything, so it would be fun to, you know, put them on, in the beach and see. Right now, though, it's it's going to be in the low 60s tonight, kind of a cool snap for, for Florida, <laughs> but it's warm to me. I even had sleeveless because I was I was warm today and it was only in the 70s. Anyway, the sun was shining. It was just gorgeous. I'll talk to you soon and I will be including more pictures and things that I that I snap along the way. It's just very picturesque. Well, look at my girls. I had the door open. They could have come out, but they're such good girls. Look at them. Those are my girls, right there. Hi girls. Hi everyone, good morning, RV Debs here. It's Wednesday, um, it's still morning, it's before noon. And I was cleaning the house up and doing my thing and my one of my nails, the tip just came off. I guess they're too thin, the bottom base apart, because that's it's, it's going to be thicker than that. Anyway, they fell off, so I'm going to go back and get it fixed. Now, I did put a little face makeup on today and showing off my eyebrows that are trimmed up and waxed. I feel good. I only I just put a little bit on. And, um, you know, if I'm hanging out at the beach and stuff, I don't need makeup. But I do like it. I, feel, I do feel prettier when I have a face with blush and stuff. Okay, let's go to... Uh, Holmes Beach, which is the next beach. Get my nail fixed. And I hope that the rest of them aren't gonna start breaking off because I work with my hands a lot and I'm not easy on them either. Okay, that was hard. So anyway, um, let me go. Let's go to Holmes Beach. It's not far, I called them and they said, come on over. Now, today's supposed to be a rainy afternoon. It hasn't rained yet. It's cloudy. But it's supposed to. I don't know. It's 71 degrees. It's probably going to get cooler when the rain comes. There's a place here called the Smokehouse. I'm going to try it. People say it's really good. You can see it's overcast, it's getting ready to rain fairly soon. But that doesn't bother me at all. I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> but it's a good day to take care of this nail because I've only had them done a few days and when I'm looking at them now, I'm afraid they're gonna all break. And it was expensive because it's a new kind of gel nail that they make and um, Not, I'm not real impressed, unfortunately. They look nice, but they're very thin where uh, when I put stress on the tip, they're gonna break off. And I'll take, I mean, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money and not, you know, not be able to have them last at least a month. Gosh, usually five, six weeks for me, but I don't I just think got so. Done. I had broken a nail. 
went back to the place which is right behind me and uh, the person that did my nail were, were not there it's very quiet but one of the ladies that own it family that owned it she redid my nails and they were not done thick enough she fixed them so she redid all my nails and no charge of course and these are much better yeah they were just not thick enough to make them look good you know anyway I'm going to go on back to the house, back to my dear little cottage, and uh, check out what the dogs are doing. And it's going to start raining soon, so might as well go and enjoy a movie, maybe a Christmas movie, or I'll sit outside if it rains and, and uh, enjoy the sound and the feeling of the rain in the beach area. See the sky, yeah, it's looking kind of kind of rough out there but um, the news said that it would uh, rain this afternoon and uh, but then be fine tomorrow it doesn't rain all day or anything okay there's smoothie king and I, I'm gonna go to the Dollar General too because that's a that's a spot I haven't been to there's Dunkin Donuts Okay, I actually went to, on the beach, the only bank is my bank. <laughs> it's the first time I've gone to my bank ever, really, because, well, not ever, but I mean, in the whole time I've been in Texas, the closest to my bank was uh, Wichita Falls. You know, 100 miles, 100, over 100 miles. So, there's absolutely nothing like being able to go to the ATM and get a little bit of cash out and only be a few, a mile or two from your place, you know? Yeah, look at the cloudy. It's going to rain. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back. Waterline. There's some beautiful condos around here. Lots and lots and lots of people that have lots and lots of money. Because <laughs> you don't live on the beach without some money. Wonderful, wonderful day in the neighborhood. It looks like it's uh, clear ahead. Almost looks like sunset, but it's not. It's only uh, 124 Wednesday afternoon. I hope I'm going the right way. I've done this before where I tur get turned around. And I think this is the way I came. It takes me a little while to uh, know my way around. It's it's not big, but it, it can be confusing, at least to me. Oh yeah, good, 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 good. Okay. I swear on the camera, it looks like it's sunset. So weird. Because the clouds, that's what it is. Here's where I messed up, but I don't mess up anymore. Because <laughs> if you go straight on this road, you're going to go over a bridge to the main, the mainland in Brayton. And I haven't left the beach since I've gotten on the beach. I will probably next week go over to the mainland and, and uh, check out some stuff, but really don't need any, anything right now. This is my neighborhood, my hood. There's the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna save the Dollar Tree for another day. I got a bunch of food in the house to eat, so it's like I don't really need to spend any money. Maybe tomorrow, my friends Jeff and Esther will want to go to dinner, so that would be a nice thing to do. Go find a place to sit outside and enjoy a meal and talk to them. I love them so much. They were in my spouse loss group when my husband died, and the uh, hospice signed me up. And um, they were all, both widows, a widow and a widower. But uh, it lasted, I guess, the, the course for the loss 
the group um, was six weeks. And by the time six weeks, we all really became good friends. And they started uh, a while later. We used to re we used to meet for like dinner once a month, and uh, they f they found each other, and they're such a sweet match. Very happy for them. Okay, I'll be in my little home in just a few minutes. It's raining again. It's in the afternoon. It's Wednesday about. 3.15, just like the news said it was going to rain, right around 3, and it, here it is. I love that fish. Stay right here, girls. They're being so good. Rosie hates the rain, but you know what? Sometimes you got to face your fears, right, Rosie? you got to face them. We're going to make it. <laughs> Look how lush it is. I hope you're all doing okay. I know it's cold most places. Um, it's it's not really not cold here. I'm I'm definitely comfortable. A little chillier than you know when the sun is out, but not bad. It's okay, Rose. Yeah, the girls are. They're wondering what's going on with the door open, Mom. Don't you love the sound? Kind of hear the traffic, sorta. Of. So the girls don't want run away, which is a good thing, especially in the rain. And we're not the only one. Up, the, I've seen people sitting outside just like this, <laughs> with their dogs. No, Lily, come back. Come on, come here. Good girl. Don't worry. It's okay. Look, I'm wearing a bracelet Amanda gave me. Hello, Amanda. I miss you. We'll see each other on my way back. If you want. Rosé, back here. Thank you. You can go right here on the lawn if you have to go. Wow, what a day. It's pretty. I had to get my nails redone because I think the way that the one lady put them on was too thin and they had a fake tip. Well, one broke off, so now I got a whole new set. I think she did a good job. It was a different person and they were very nice. And my feet are looking good. Yay, holiday feet. You know, it was a year. Oh. I think it was about a year. That I, it may be longer for my feet. So, yeah. Like, take care of myself if I can. Well, it's a very light rain. It's not so bad. Where are you going? You come here. Rose. Hey. You stay over here on our lawn. <laughs> uh-uh. No. No, you come over here. Thank you. You can go right here. We have a little patch of lawn here and it's easy for them to go out. That's what I do in the morning is I, and I have them on a leash, but um, that they'll go on this lawn and then we'll take a little walk down further. I don't know what Rosie sees that she's wanting. <laughs> no, you don't go there, Rose. We, we don't live there. Come here. Come on, turn around, stay over here. It's just another beach day. We had some real heavy thunder for a minute and that really got her. But since then, no. Where'd you go? You can come right here. Let's see how it feels. 
It's very light rain. Go pee pee right here. Come on. Come here, Lily. She's just, no, I don't want to get wet. You want to go pee pee? Go ahead. It's drizzling. <laughs> so nice. Car got cleaned. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna let I'm gonna turn this off for now and I'll talk with you soon. Just sitting here outside and it's just as nice as it could be. Using my selfie stick. I just don't want to drop my phone because that would be it. <laughs> then I wouldn't be able to do this for you guys anymore. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that something wonderful happens and that, I, I don't know, we'll see. I hope I'll be able to, to come back and maybe get back to Florida for a while, yeah. Of course I'm spoiled because I'm on the beach now, but I know, I know that I lived off the beach all the time, you know, for years. Um, a little, little mobile home park somewhere maybe would be all I, all I need. I like mobile homes much better than apartments because you've got your space all around the mobile home, you know, you're not sharing roof, you know, no one's above you or below you or on the side. You can do a little gardening if you want. Um, apartments are nice too, but you know, I got dogs. I, I just don't, I don't see myself in an apartment. I grew up in Los Angeles. My parents were managers of, of apartment buildings for years. And I just kind of made, made a note that I never really wanted to live like that. So that's how I feel. Check out my Friday night live stream, 8.30 Eastern Time.